These are two of the most popular programs out there for vector graphics. Professionals use both apps depending on their needs, but if you want to decide which one is right for you, it can be difficult for you. However, our in-depth comparison will assist you with this. The main difference between these two apps is that Inkscape is available for free, while Adobe Illustrator and monthly subscriptions. Apart from that, Illustrator is immensely popular in the design field as a professional graphic design tool. What is Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator? Both Inkscape and Illustrator deal with vector graphics, and professional designers use both depending on their design needs. Also, both design programs have some unique qualities that make them stand out. So, let's now understand both apps in depth. What is Adobe Illustrator? Adobe Illustrator is an industry standard vector design app launched in 1987. It is a feature-rich design program that lets you create stunning illustrations, vector graphics, typography, posters, infographics, and other items. What is Inkscape? Inkscape is a vector-based graphic design program that is free to use. It was launched in 2003, and currently, it has shape tools and drawing tools to let you create illustrations and icons easily. This app performs similarly to Adobe Illustrator as a valuable alternative to Illustrator with a simple interface and easy learning curve. Inkscape is perfect for beginner graphic designers who need a free app for illustrations. How do Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator differ? The first difference is Inkscape is simple and free to use, but you need to choose a subscription plan in order to download Adobe Illustrator. Inkscape is a primary graphic designing tool that uses node editing and is suitable for hobbyists. People who need a simple graphic design program can use Inkscape, but Adobe Illustrator is a professional graphic design app that handles vector projects in a sophisticated way. It has more features and tools than Inkscape and is preferred for professional graphic design work. Adobe Illustrator vs Inkscape, a deep dive comparison. Till now, we know the basics and unique qualities of Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape. Let's now compare these two programs in detail. Ease of use. Inkscape comprises intuitive tools and a simple user interface that make it easier to use. It is a beginner-friendly program and allows new graphic designers to learn illustration in a few steps. You can simply download this app, take a tour through the app, and start your work. Pricing. The pricing of these two apps is very simple. Inkscape is available for free and provides similar features to Illustrator. Hobbyists and people who simply need an app for their designs usually don't want to pay for it. In this case, Inkscape is the best option to opt for. User interface. The user interface is essential to take into consideration because it determines how the workflow will be. If you can't connect with the app, you will feel difficult to use it for your design needs. Features. Before you come to a decision on whether to use Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, you need to compare the features of both programs. Although Inkscape is free, it includes many useful features and tools that help beginners make stunning designs. Here is an in-depth analysis of the features of these two programs. Adobe Illustrator vs Inkscape Features, Compatibility, Community, Support, Inkscape Features Inkscape comes with many features and tools for designing vector graphics. First of all, it includes different object creation tools such as pen tools, pencil tools, text tools, calligraphy tools, clones, embedded bitmaps, and shape tools. Inkscape's brush tools are highly realistic and pressure sensitive. Adobe Illustrator features. As Adobe Illustrator is a sophisticated vector design program, it is filled with many tools and features. Talking about tools, it has multiple tools to help you in object creation. It also allows you to create a custom brush. By the way, this feature is also available in Inkscape. Compatibility and file format. Compatibility is an important factor to look at when you are deciding to use one app out of Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape. Both design apps are compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems. Further, Adobe Illustrator is a step ahead of Inkscape because it is available for iPad as well. Community. Inkscape is an open source design app and it has a vast community of users and developers. They continuously improve the program to enhance user experience. There is an active user forum where users can ask questions and get answers from other users. Customer support. When using a design app, you may need support if you face some issues. As Inkscape has a vast community and active forums, users can get free support there. The community of Inkscape is a good option for finding answers to any question. Who should use Inkscape? Because Inkscape is an open source vector graphics program and is available for free. It is suitable for users who simply need an app for vector designs. People who don't want to spend on premium apps like Illustrator and consider Illustrator can use Inkscape as an alternative. Who should use Adobe Illustrator? People who need a sophisticated design program for business cards, brochures, and other print materials should use Adobe Illustrator. 
as it is an industry standard design program. People who want to pursue a career in the graphic design field need to use this app. What is the best vector graphics program in 2022? So who wins when it comes to Adobe Illustrator vs Inkscape? It's true. Both Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape are excellent for vector graphics. This is the reason why many people get confused and can't decide which one to use. Inkscape is a free program, while Adobe Illustrator is the industry standard vector design program that comes with advanced features. If you're willing to make professional graphic designs, you should consider Adobe Illustrator. Happy designing! We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.